Hey Rack on Beer viewers, welcome to an actual homebrew beer review. Uh, I don't do these very often just because I don't I don't trade a lot of beers, you know that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, this is also going to be the first review in the new uh, bar setup. Hopefully I've by now I've got some videos out about that, but um, yeah, this uh, this beer is actually from a brother. Um, my brother was here recently for a visit with his wife and my, my mom and dad. Uh, and they, they came over for my, um, mine and my wife's 10th anniversary, 10th wedding anniversary. And uh, yeah, my brother brought me some of his beers. Um, he brews with a buddy over there in the U.S. Uh, they brew, yeah, they brew all kinds of stuff. Um, and uh, these are actually, these are actually really cool because these are his beers that, um, that he and his buddy are actually um, entering into a homebrew competition. So these are like these are like the best of the best. These are the ones that they think are gonna. I, I can't remember which one it is. It's um, I know we dropped the beers off to Bell's, but that doesn't that doesn't really tell me anything. But so these are well, these I'm gonna I'm gonna do one right now. I'm gonna do his saison uh, mostly because I've got it right here, and you can see I'm a little afraid that it might have leaked. Uh, this it's very wet under the plastic that he wrapped it in for travel, and it looks a little looks like there's a bit of leakage in there. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unravel this. I should have unraveled it before I started this video up, or while I was explaining all that stuff. So yeah, these traveled over from Michigan. Uh, I can't remember how old he said this one. Oh man. I can see why maybe it maybe it leaked. I can't. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but the beer is all the way up to there. So maybe the pressure in the in the plane um, might have pushed some of it out. So this is a saison, and uh, what's cool about this is that they used. Uh, if I remember correctly, he said there's rye in it too. So it's it's a rye saison. And what they did is they used a mix of yeast, so they used um, they used the Belgian saison strain, but then they also used uh, Wallonian farmhouse, which I believe is from Yeast Bay. Um, and I actually turned them on to that yeast because I used it once and I really liked it. And um, it, I guess it's basically becoming their house yeast because he says they like it so much. So this is a yeast blend. It wasn't much of a hiss, but there's also no headroom in there, so uh, let's see. Pour it out. Oh yeah, there's some carbonation in there. Good. Cool. I was a little worried that this might be flat. It might have cracked the seal on the bottle, but just go ahead and tip it all in. All right. All right, take a look at that. Yeah, it's got a nice little, nice little foamy head on top. I believe these were off the keg. Yeah. Was there? Yeah, it's pretty clean in the bottom, so I think that these were bottled off the keg. Um, nice. Uh, it's not hazy. Nice uh, color on it. I can already smell it. Oh, that's a really gorgeous smelling saison. Yeah, I can definitely, I immediately recognize that Wallonian farmhouse yeast. It's like, um, it's a clean yeast that's all sack, but it has, um, it has some kind of funky characteristics to it. So it's like a, it's like a funky sack yeast. Funky sack. It's actually my rapper name in college. <laughs> Man, it smells, it smells, it's got that, that spicy note of, um, of, both of a little bit of rye and of like um, Belgian, like a Belgian yeast. But there, there is a Brett, there's like a Brett character to it and there's no Brett in this beer, but it's that, that Wallonian farmhouse yeast brings an almost kind of slightly leathery barnyardy Brett um, note. Thank you, motorcycle. And it just smells awesome. I'm gonna take a drink here. Cheers, thanks. Thanks to Jordan, my brother, for bringing this over to me. Oh yeah. That is good. I think the seal was broken a little bit. Um, 
because it is rather flat tasting and I can taste some oxidation in it, unfortunately. And uh, truth, be, truth be told, I've, I had this beer, um, he brought two bottles, I think two bottles. And um, we had the same thought on the other one. And he and I drank it together and it was perfect. It was like beautiful beer. And, um, but it was also like one day or like two or three days after max two days after he'd gotten it here so like three days old in the bottle and uh there wasn't anything because this definitely tastes a little bit different than that one did so there has been a i think there's been a little bit of damage but it still tastes really nice it's just got a, a slight oxidation flavor to it now and it's more or less still uh at this point but anyway, let's get back to the flavor. That's, I'm gonna try and tell you about what I remember from having the, the fresh or the, the non-cracked seal one. And you, I can still taste most of it in here. It has this really nice, it's, it's really crisp, very dry, and a super refreshing. And it has this really nice little aftertaste of, um, of like pepper, and um, yeah, like just a spiciness from that rye, uh, which plays like really awesomely with the um, with the yeast. Like this blend, it makes me wanna, it makes me wanna order that Wallonian and and try and do a blend myself because because of how how really well that yeast, especially in the nose, it gives a really interesting nose, and then in the flavor, it just plays with the rye really nice. So. Yeah, that's a really delightful Cezanne. And I mean, it's cool because it's very close to style. Like it's a very, very, um, it tastes like a traditional Cezanne, but there's a cool twist in there. So I think that this is gonna do like really, really, really well at the competition. Um, maybe I'll do an update video uh, to tell you how he did, or maybe I'll have him send a little video of his sheets because I'm, I'm really looking forward to, after tasting um, some of these beers that are going to competition, seeing what the judges say. And I mean, it can only be better if it hasn't flown over on an airplane, because, yeah, I mean, they're going to be judging the fresh bottles that have just been, you know, transported by, by truck. But yeah, that is a, that is a fantastic Saison. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it, uh, except, you know, thanks again, Jordan, for bringing it to me. And uh, cheers, guys, for watching. I've got a few other beers um, to review from my brother. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, cheers.